So hello class, we are going to continue our lesson by learning how to perform addition, subtraction, and multiplication in a given base. So in a case where we have 11001 to the base 2 plus 10111 to the base 2, and let's say we are asked to perform addition for it. So we go ahead and then we add. Any addition or subtraction we do, we are going to do it in base 2. So 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 to the base 2, if I should divide 2 by 2, okay, 2 going to itself 1, so 2 want to remain the one, 0. So I have 0, then I carry the 1. Again, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 to the base 2, I have 1, 0, so 0 carry 1. Again, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 to the base 2, I have 0 carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 to the base 2, I have 0, carry 1. And then 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So 2 to the base 3. So 2, we have 3 divided by 2. 2, 1, 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. So we have 1 remaining at 1. So we have 1, 1. So this will give us 1, 1, 0, 0, 0 to the base 2. Now let's come to the second one. Assuming I want to add 4, 3, 7 to the base 8 plus 75 to the base 8. No, oh, actually it's 75 to the base 8, not 75. Because we are not talking about base 10, we are talking about base 8. So 75 to the base 8. So 7 plus 5 is um, 12. So we have to convert the 12 to a number in base 8. So 8, so we have 12 divided by 8. 8 will go into 12, 1, 8, 1, 8, 12 minus 8, I think we have 4. So we have 4 carry 1. Now, 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 7 is 11. So, if 8, um, eight 12 base 8 is giving us 1, 4, then 11 base 8 will give us 1, 3. So, we have 3. Okay, let's do it. So, 8 divided by 11, 8, 1, 8, remainder 3. So, we have 3, carry 1. And then 1 plus 4 is 5. So we have 5, 3, 4 to the base 8. So this is the addition for the given base 8. Why we have 4, 3, 7 to the base 8 plus 7, 5 to the base 8, which is going to give us 5, 3, 4 to the base 8. Now, when we come to subtraction, the same way we are going to subtract. So we are talking about 2, 3, 4 to the base 5. Minus 1, 4, 1 to the base 5. So if I want to perform subtraction for this base, 4 minus 1 is 3. So I'll have my 3. Now, 3 minus 4, it cannot be. So I'm going to borrow 1 from here. Now if I should borrow 1, anything I borrow, because we are dealing with base 5, will be in terms of 5. So if I should add base uh, 5 to 3, I'll get 8. And 8 minus 4 will give me 4. And this is now left with 1. Because I borrowed 1 from here, which is in base 8. So it became um, 5 plus 3, which is in base 5. It became 5 plus 3, which is 8. Minus 4, I have 4. Then 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is 4, 3 to the base 5. Again, let me go over again. I said 4 minus 1 is 3. We are dealing with base 5. 3 minus 4, it can't be. So we borrow 1 from here. So this is 2. When I borrow 1, it will be left with 1. And when I borrow 1 and I add it to this, it is not 1 itself. It is in base 5. So we have 5. I've added 5 to the 3, which is 8. So 8 minus 4 is 4. Then this is now 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So I have 4, 3 to the base 5. Now let's move to question 4. We are dealing with base 6. So anything we are going to borrow, We'll be dealing with what? The base 6. So the first one is 2 minus 4. And 2 minus 4 cannot be. So I'm going to borrow 1 from here and add it to this. So when I borrow 1, this is going to be 4. This is going to be left with 4. And I add 6 to this. So this is going to be 8. So 8 minus 4 will be what? 4. Now, 4 minus 5 cannot be. So I need to borrow 1 from here and add it to this. Now, if I borrow 1 from here, this will be left with 3. And I'm adding 6 to this. So this becomes 10. 
6 plus 4 is 10. 10 minus 5 is also 5. And then 3 minus 2 is 1. So I have 1, 5, 4 to the base 6. And we move to question 5. Question 5. Now we are going to perform multiplication in this given base, base 3. So we do our normal multiplication. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. And 2 times 2 is 4. Now, 4 to base 3. 4 in base 3, if we should divide 4 by 3, so we have 3, 3, 1, 3. We have made a 1. So we have 1, 1. So this will give us 1, 1. Then we add. Now when we add, we are going to get 1 here. We are adding in base 3. 1 here. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 to the base 3, we have 1, 1. So 1 carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Then we have 1. So 1, 2, 1, 1 to the base 3. The same way, this is going to give us 3, 2, 6, 3, 2, 6, 3, 3, 9, 9 to the base 8. So let's do it. We have 8, 1, 8, 1, 1. So we have 1, 1. And then 3, 1, 3. Now we go to the second part. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3, and then 1 times 1 is 1. Then we perform the addition in base 8. So 6 plus 0, we have 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 to the base 8, we have 0, carry 1, because we have 1 remainder 0. So 0 carry 1. Now 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1, we have 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. And 3 plus 1 is 4. So we have 4, 4, 0, 6 to the base 8. Thank you, class. I'll leave you with some more addition and subtraction and multiplication to solve on your own. Until then, we meet next time. Bye.